Throw it in. All right, so check this out. This is a termite mound. The collective mass of termites on the continent of Africa is estimated to outweigh the collective mass of all mammals on the continent. That's an incredible thing to think about. Think about that. That's more than all the elephants and all the humans, all the dogs and all the rodents. All mammals do not weigh as much as the collective mass of termites on the continent of Africa. What does that mean to us as agricultural designers? This is a protein store. This is a chicken feed. This is a fish feed. If we can find a way to unlock the potential of the termites and to utilize their, their mass and their potential, we can unlimitedly feed our animal systems. I've already started doing trials by feeding termites to my chickens on one of my demonstration sites and I got a 100% increase in egg production. Think about that. Organic chicken animal feed, fish feed for the world. This can, can resupply the global feed supply for, for animal feed. That's a big deal when you start to think this way. Look at the size of this structure. Another unique uh, information that I've recently discovered about this, termites are mushroom farmers. This I've already known. What I didn't know was that it's actually possible to inoculate this termite mound by opening it up and stuffing inoculated wood chips with shiitake mushrooms and different types of mushrooms inside. And the termites will actually adapt, in some cases, to those mushrooms and start to farm those mushrooms sustainably for you. So different types of mushrooms can be grown from these mounds. And you look at the landscape as I, as I walk over here, you just walk with me. Look at all the termite mounds. Look at how many there are. And look at the sheer size of them. Look at this one with a big uh, cactus tree growing out of it. Each one of these mounds represents an economic store of protein for animal feeds, but also if we can get the technique of doing advanced mushroom farming with the termites, the termites are farming for us and we just reap the benefits. Now of course we're standing on a very degraded, very damaged piece of land. You can see it looks like I'm in a post-war zone here. It's just recently been cleared for charcoal production. This before, almost six months ago, was a forest. These termites are a forest floor animal. So in order for this to work and all these suggestions to take place, we do need to regenerate that forest so that those animals, which are the termites, those termites, which are the insects, sorry, are able to do that work for us. All these wonderful ideas that we're coming up with. Another beautiful use, if you look at the size of this mound, this is a great building material. And that's not gonna kill the termites. If I come in here and I cut this in half, I can use that to build my clay huts. I can build ponds with it. I can build all kinds of structures with it. And the termites will continuously rebuild and bring more of that lush, beautiful clay-like soil up to the surface for me. So this is an excellent, excellent, useful critter. Right now it's considered to be a very damaging critter because it goes into the people's cornfields. Now cornfields have become the only food source for them after they've cleared the land like this. So by integrating and re-establishing forest systems and by feeding the termites, with some of the some of the forestry products like wood, wood chips, for example, which come from you know our woodworking shops and also from our mulch 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 areas, we can keep these termites alive and healthy, keep them out of our food systems, and actually use their behavioral patterns to enhance our overall farm productivity. And I don't know how far far this is going to go. We need some scientists on board, and this is one of the things I'm making these videos to try and entice you, that scientist out there who's looking for a good PhD, looking for a new research study. Come and join us on Priceless Farms. We're right on the bank of the River Nile. We're in one of the most beautiful countries in the world, and this is an opportunity for you to get in on the ground level on what is the most important revolution of our time.